Hey everybody, it's Joy Packard. How you guys doing today? It is a beautiful Saturday and um, <clears throat> I'm going to be um, tied up watching uh, one of my grandbabies pretty soon. So I thought I would make a quick video while I had some time and share with you a few thoughts that I, I was um, reading. And um, first of all, um, <clears throat> I'm finally getting a little bit better, but I feel like my voice is not quite to par, but I'm recovering still from traveling and the mastermind and, and everything, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, I wanted to share with you a few thoughts. I, <clears throat> I do a lot of reading, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well, and I was really inspired about this one article, and, th and so I thought I would share it with you. And um, let's see here. <laughs> You can still see I don't make my bed still. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in Mexico mode. No bed making. And so no shame. I just, um, hey, how you doing, Leonardo? And so anyway, I was reading this amazing article. It was written by Michael Simmons. And he talks about um, what successful people do. And it really impacted me to where I wanted to share it with you, um, a friend of mine, Kim Roach, if she's watching this, had shared it on her Facebook the other day, and I was reading it the other day, and it really um, hit home with me, and I might not be able to share all of them. Hey there, how you doing? And so, um, I think it would help you. It's interesting because some of the things that I read uh, really um, made me think a lot about, you know, the things that I, that I would want to do. And, um, you know, they even say, you know, some of the, like even Warren Buffett, basically, even as busy as he was, he still spent several hours reading. It was really, really amazing. And so I'm just going to share with you a few of the things that really stood out to me that maybe could help you because it really impacted me as well. And they talk a lot about, you know, conventional time. It's a graph that goes like this as opposed to compounding time that goes like this and there are some things that successful people um, do on a daily basis that really made an impact and you know if they're doing it right then we, why shouldn't we right because if you are trying to um, do certain things to be successful then why not emulate somebody who is right and so here's here's one thing that they talk about hack number one and we talk about this all the time uh, together and it's to keep a journal they talk about keeping a journal and how it can change your life and you know we talk a little bit about the five minute journal and how in the morning you write down some of the things that you're grateful for and then you write down some things that you want to get done during the day and then in the evening you write down and you evaluate your day on what good things that you had happen and so billionaires still do this even as busy as they are so if they're doing it, you know, then we should do it. Okay, that's hack number one. Hack number two. This was exciting to me. Naps can dramatically increase learning, memory, awareness, creativity, and productivity. I'm not talking about taking two-hour naps, although it did say in here that Thomas Edison would take an hour nap every afternoon. But um, let's see here. Some of the names. Leonardo da Vinci took dozens of 10-minute naps every day. Um, Ronald Reagan every afternoon, Lyndall B. Johnson 30 minutes, um, you know, all these John Rockefeller every day after lunch. And so, you know, some of us feel sometimes we feel guilty like after, you know, in the afternoon that we want to take a nap or whatever. But I was so happy to read this because I love taking naps. I think that, you know, this one particular hack where they're talking about that and how that makes you more productive. You know, if successful people are doing it, then surely it's good for us to do it, right? So it gives us permission every day to have a nap, whether it's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. My thinking is, you know, um, when I was in Mexico in Mazatlan, I had a massage every single day and I took a nap. And it's true, I felt better, right? So maybe, you know, it may not be, you know, an hour or two hour nap, but it may be 10, 15, 20 minute, what they call power naps, right? So permission to take a nap, hack number two. Number three hack is 15 minutes of walking per day. I was losing connectivity there. 15 minute walk every day. They recommend that. 
Um, some of the most successful people do that as well. Hack number four, reading is one of the most beneficial activities we can invest in. You know, I listen to a lot of podcasts every day. I listen to music every day. I listen to stuff when I'm on the road. But specifically picking up a book again and reading, right? Like we used to do when we were kids. Um, they talk about Winston uh, Churchill spent several hours a day. He, you know, he read biographies and everything. So anyway, that's hack number whatever we're on, hack number four. Um, hack number five, this is another exciting thing. Conversation partners lead to surprising breakthroughs. I talked to you a little bit about going to a goat farm mastermind a couple of weeks ago, you know, and it's saying right here that conversation partners lead to breakthroughs. So what does that tell us about masterminding and networking, you know, and how that can affect us and that that's what successful people do. So they do it, we should do it, you know, whether it's a mastermind with one other person. Hey Jerry, where are you traveling today? <laughs> I think about you often in your motorhome. If they are doing it, what does that say about us and how important it is to network and to have masterminds and to run ideas, you know, with our with people who are in our niche and just successful people do it. Oregon, beautiful over there. All right, so hack number six, success is a direct result of the number of experiments you perform. I was reading this the other day about um, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, you know, basically the owner of Amazon and how he said, you know, his success with Amazon is, is partly because of all the tests he does with his experiments. And so I thought to myself, again, successful people do it. We should also, right? We should test experiment try things because sometimes we're so scared to try it and we never do it right but successful people do it if they do it what does that tell us about that right all right I think we're almost done okay so basically um if you are just you know logging on you can go back to the beginning of the video and you can learn all of the things that we talk about there's my daughter I'm on live video. You can come in if you want to. So basically, all of those different hacks that we talk about. There's my last, my baby grandson right there, number seven. And so those are six different things the successful people do. Those six different hacks. And it's interesting because some of the things that they talk about are things that we didn't, you know, we don't think about that we're not productive. Are you going to say hi back there? Hi. <laughs> There's the baby. Don't I'm gonna mind be this. Yeah. Keep on going. <laughs> and so, you know, my favorite one that they talk about in this article is, like I said, taking a nap because we love naps. And I, I right, Janelle? Do we love naps? I love naps. So, I more of them when I was little. <laughs> yeah, I think as we get older, we, we, we regret whenever our parents used to put us to sleep and everything. And so basically, um, how cool is that to know that successful people, that's hack number, what was that that I told you guys, number three or so. So, the ones that stick out to me that we talk about all the time is one, keeping your journal, and that was like the five minute journal that we talk about. Number two, I love the nap idea because that helps us to um, get our brain and sink into where we can basically um, continue on with our day and doing things, and so it helps our mind to be able to um, to combat the different things hello over there we are on live video <laughs> so anyway I hope that these have helped you um, let me see who this person is that you can follow if you want it's um his name is Michael Simmons and you know he's on medium.com he has amazing articles I love he talks about health and fitness life and learning and like I say, this was an article that um, Kim Roach shared on her, uh, one of my friends, on her amazing um, wall the other day. And I hope that this can help you in some way. Um, like I say, if you came in late, you can always go back and review the six different hacks that successful people do. Okay, so today we're going to spend some time with that little boy back there. Show us how cute he is on our messy bed. And by the way... You are excused for making your bed every day <laughs> when you come back from Mexico. Can you say hi? Say hi. See? 
That's um. Isn't he so cute? Christoph- and y'all can vote on whether we or not we should cut his hair or not. I vote <laughs> no. My mom votes yes. Whoever well, gets the most I don't know. I change my mind sometimes. He's so super cute. Okay, I got so, it. So okay. Love ya. Love you. All right. I will let you go. I'm be watching this little boy. Take care. Have a good day.